Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a little tutorial video on how I made the armature for the proboscis monkey hands. I've currently just finished sculpting them and it took so long. I sculpted them out of cost clay so they're going to be poseable. So I wanted to use a uh, wire armature so they're gently poseable when they've been baked. So I'm using a small little aluminium uh, wire. It's roughly 1.2 millimeters thick. And what I'm doing is just basically I've created one hand so far using reference images over on my um, computer. And then I'm gonna go and continue making the second one using that first one as a reference. So the sizing will be exactly the same and all of the little knuckle dimensions and stuff will be the same as well. And I've just got a small pair of needled, needle nose pliers here where I'm just using it to close the ends off the, um, the fingertips. I don't want any sharp ends because the sharp ends tend to go through the polymer clays or the cost clay in this case. So I always try to make it like a nice smooth um, end on the fingers, which also means you don't have to connect any wires anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish making all of the actual finger fingers and all of the little joints on the fingers as well and also using that um, other hand for reference. So you can find a whole lot of these other tutorial videos over on my Patreon. I have heaps of um, armature videos, heaps of other tutorials involving art dolls and things that I do. So head over to my Patreon and uh, you'll get um, a pledge for five dollars and you can get access to all of those tutorials there's heaps of uh heaps of things up there so check it out it's just a little sample of what you can get on there So once that's done and I'm happy with it, I just cut off the uh, wire from the actual reel and then just twist the wire over on, on itself to seal off the end and just do some final little touches to make sure I'm happy with the proportions and stuff. Same deal with the feet, so the feet are a little bit bigger, they've got huge feet. So always use some reference images when you're creating any um, any armatures and sort of think of it as a skeleton inside what you're going to be sculpting on top of it. So uh, you don't want to go too big because when you sculpt on top of it your proportions will be just too big for what you're going for. So again the same sort of process. I, I did the first armature using the reference images and then the second armature I'm going to be referencing off that first one to make sure all of the proportions are right and it's the same size.
to fill in the gaps, I'm going to be using some aluminium foil and I'm going to be separating this piece into four different pieces and super easy, just create a fold line and tear it down. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size. Um, so yeah, just folding it over in itself and creating the four different pieces. So when you've got these four separate pieces, what you're going to do is just fill in that gap that you see in the middle of the of the hand and the reason for this is so the, the clay has something to stick to. I'm just wrapping around the thumb as well because the thumb is quite a bit thicker and that will act as a bigger armature for your hand piece. But I want to fill in this little bit. You can bulk it out a little bit more, it just depends how big your, your hand is wanting to be. So I didn't bulk it out too much of this one, I just wanted to um, refine the curves and make something, make, make a surface for the polymer clay to sit on. the whole process of uh, making the armatures for the proboscis monkey hands. I'll do another video where I'm actually sculpting the hands out of cos clay. It took so long uh, to sculpt it with cos clay. I hate sculpting with the well the Kickstarter version at, um, at this point so I'll try the new stuff uh, when I finish this lot. But I hope this helped you. If you do make it let me know on Instagram or something and I can check it out. Uh, head over to my Patreon for more tutorials. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Creatures of Nat, also TikTok, and my shop at creaturesofnat.com. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.